Well, it's been about three months, but SeaWorld is finally back open as of today. Today is the opening day, the reopening day to guests. And I'm excited to go in and check it out, walk around and just visit another theme park again. Right now I'm waiting at the toll plaza to scan my pass to park to head into SeaWorld. And from what I can tell, it's gonna be a pretty busy and popular day today, although reservations are required to visit SeaWorld, at least in these first few weeks or months, so they're gonna be open. They're also only open five days out of the week, which I thought that was pretty interesting. And then face coverings are required, as well as temperature checks, so it's pretty consistent with the rest of the parks around Orlando. Okay, so this is where the temperature checks happen. I have to get in line, kind of way back over here. It looks like it kind of feeds into that tent, and then it'll probably go through, I guess, security. All right, so I just made it through the temperature screening, which is that giant tent over there, which, of course, did feed over to security. And now I'm heading into the park. It looks like there's kind of a long, line to redeem your reservation to get into SeaWorld. It's about noon right now, so whew, maybe I showed up a little bit too late, or maybe this has just kind of been the consistent crowd level all day. I don't really know. The line kind of started off as one individual line, and now it's kind of branching out into multiple lines. There's not really a lot of opportunity to social distance because it's kind of a cramped area back over here, but I don't know, they're, they're doing their best, I guess, and they're playing that announcement kind of over and over again. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen SeaWorld this busy on any other normal day that I've been here. So this is uh, pretty significant. It looks like these social distancing markers do kind of start underneath the covered area. It's been moving pretty slow, though. All right, and about 30 minutes later, I've made it into the park. They have this really cool photo op right over here that says, Welcome back to SeaWorld. I think that's really, really cute and adorable, but... Now it's time to actually head into the park and just uh, just walk around, just enjoy myself. Hi, I haven't shown my face yet. You still can't see my face because of the mask and the sunglasses. I'm wearing my SeaWorld hat today. I'm over by Manta, which doesn't seem to be going, or at least I haven't seen it in the few minutes that I've been walking around when I walked into the park and when I walked over here. So I don't know what that's about. I don't really have an agenda today. I just kind of wanted to walk around like I've, like I've said and just kind of enjoy being back. I'm kind of curious to see how they're going to be handling the social distancing and especially since SeaWorld is very heavy on shows and uh, in areas where guests would kind of conglomerate together. I'm just kind of curious to see how they're going to handle that. But I don't know. Let's just kind of see what the park looks like right now basically and maybe have some lunch. I'm especially excited to be back at SeaWorld because this was the last theme park that I visited before quarantine, before all the parks closed down for an indefinite amount of months. So just to be back is pleasant. Let's see if it is open right now. It doesn't look like it. Oh, it is open. It says 25 minutes, but I've not seen a train go by since I've gotten into the park. That's interesting. Okay, so never mind. Manta is definitely closed. They have a chain up, a recycling bin, a height check. So no Manta, at least right now. They do have this sign here, which these are scattered throughout the park and they're showing off their policies and procedures requirements to enjoy SeaWorld today. And this is what their social distancing sticker looks like right there so that's a bit of a bummer so i'm outside the dolphin theater where dolphin days takes place it looks like they are definitely doing shows today which is cool i don't know if i'm gonna be watching a show or what i'd love to ride a ride depending on what the wait times look like that's for sure so it looks like journey to atlantis is closed as well because there are no boats running at all right now it looks like the gift shop is shuttered over there as well and there's a chain at the entrance that's a bummer. It looks like Kraken is running though because there's a good amount of people over there. And I wonder if Empire the Penguin is running. So Kraken is most definitely open right now. There are not a lot of people on the trains because of the social distancing that they have to follow. So the wait time is 45 minutes, which seems a little bit high, which I tried to come over to see what the line looks like. It doesn't really look like there's a lot of people in line, but I imagine they have to put maybe a party every other row and then depending on how big parties are it's just gonna be kind of hard to judge wait times all right so now i'm heading into antarctica to kind of check out the wait times over here what's back here i've never really explored back over here maybe it's just a stroller parking area oh it's an area for lockers this area is kind of surprisingly a little bit quieter than i anticipated it being and empire of the penguin is only a 35 minute wait Interesting. It's so right outside Antarctica, over in the stroller parking section, they do have a face covering relaxation zone where you can take your face coverings off as they're not required in here. So that is similar to Universal, which is pretty cool. 
actually. Now I'm gonna head over here to the Pacific Point Preserve to say hello to my sea otter friends. I meant sea lion, not sea otter. Although there are sea otters in the sea lion show. Although I guess that doesn't count. So I wanted to come over here to see the sea lions because I could hear them the other day when I was rollerblading pretty much just straight over there behind Manta and Crack and I could, I could hear them barking, I guess that's what they do. So just to be able to walk over here and actually see them, it's kind of nice. There goes Kraken up the lift hill back there. Mako just went by as well. And here are all of the sea lions and seals, I think. I keep having to remind myself of the difference. So seals are quiet and shy, and then sea lions are loud. So I guess most of these are probably sea lions, I imagine. So it looks like these sea lion shows are still going on as well. They have some times posted over there on the board. It also looks like the weather is kind of rolling in. So I'm gonna keep walking around and making my lap around SeaWorld. Real quick, I ran over to the Spice Mill restaurant to check out the waterfront. It doesn't look like the boats are going, the Flamingo boats. I can't tell about One Ocean. I imagine that that show's going on as well. Icebreaker is right over there across the water. Looks like the fountains are kind of going over by Bayside Stadium, which that's kind of neat. Some kinetic energy. And then the Sky Tower here. I haven't seen it running, but you know, I don't really know. This could kind of go either way, whether it's running or not. This is another face mask relaxation zone. Again, over by the water, there's the, the Spice Mill restaurant over there, which is not open for whatever reason. It's interesting, there's so many either rides or restaurants or gift shops that are just open or not open. I don't know if that's just on team member availability to be able to work the opening of SeaWorld, but I tried to check the app and the app isn't really consistent or updated in terms of wait times or what is or isn't open. So. It's just kind of been an adventure to walk around and just see what is or isn't open. I don't know. It's it's odd. I'm also sad that the Seven Seas Food Festival has concluded, which I absolutely understand why, obviously. But I had so many more uh, punches on my lanyard that I wasn't able to use. But I guess I'm I'm happy now that I was able to go that one last time that I was to get as many punches as I could. And there goes Mako. Which, if that's a reasonable wait time, I may definitely ride that. And there are the flamingo boats that I was talking about earlier that are not in use, which makes sense, but they're always kind of fun to see paddling along the water over here. So the weather right now kind of looks like it's rolling in a little bit aggressively. I think I just felt a raindrop actually just now. The wait time for Mako is 35 minutes. So right now it's kind of a question of if I'm going to be able to ride it before the weather rolls in or if I should just kind of keep walking around and just kind of see what the weather does. Maybe I'll do that for now. Although, shoot, I do wanna ride this. I'm gonna ride Mako. Actually, never mind because the line pretty much comes all the way out to the entrance. So I'll bypass that for now and maybe come back in a little bit. And here I am over by Infinity Falls, which looks fantastic right now because I think they're only putting one party per ride vehicle, which makes the wait time very, very long. It's the entirety of the queue and then it goes all the way across the bridge, so. I don't think I'm gonna be able to ride this today. And even if I did want to, I feel like it would be kind of selfish for me to be one person in a raft when all these other families want to ride. Here comes a raft underneath the bridge as one's going down and the hill right there. Man, that looks so refreshing. I want to wreck this so bad because it is just so hot and uncomfortable. But the line is so long. So the Orkin counter definitely does have show times. There's another one of those signs that I saw from earlier. Which makes sense because it's kind of the main show here at SeaWorld. I'm getting kind of hungry. Do I want to get some pretzels from Mama's Pretzel Kitchen? So I did indeed just get out of Mama's Pretzel Kitchen and check out what I got. I got a pepperoni pizza pretzel, which sounds awesome. Also, you can definitely see how dark it is back there. And there was a big thunderclap just now. So I am pretty glad that I did not get in line for anything because if there's lightning, then they have to shut the ride down and everybody has to wait it out. So I'm going to eat my pretzel which should be really good. I also got some water because it is incredibly hot. I just poured that all over my phone, that's good. It's so, so hot today. But because I sat down and I got food, I took off my mask and I can breathe and it's great. All right, so I am all done with my pepperoni pretzel and now I'm over here in Sesame Street, just kind of walking around. It seems very, very quiet and pretty much completely deserted over here, which is a little bit odd, but the weather is rolling in. They did make an announcement while I was eating my pretzel that all outdoor rides and shows were canceled 
were closed due to inclement weather in the area, which it's a little bit weird because I've kind of missed that spiel, honestly, in, in kind of a weird way. Isn't this kind of odd, just how quiet it is back here? None of the rides are running. I don't even see any team members operating the rides or with the rides. Huh. I was thinking about doing Super Grover's Boxcar Derby, but I guess not. Okay, so there actually are team members, but they gathered over by the Boxcar Derby instead of their respective rides, which probably makes sense to gather in the same area. This is the play water area that I never have gotten like a clear view of because there's always kids running around over here and I felt did incredibly inappropriate to, to film that, but okay, I guess I'm heading out now. Well, not heading out, but I'm heading in this direction, continuing my slow lap around SeaWorld. Okay, so I'm over by Wild Arctic, which I do not know if this is open. There are no team members outside. There's a lot of construction going on for sure. I don't know. I'm not going to ride that today, though, because I, I just ate my pretzel. But I guess I'm going to go ahead and start heading towards the exit. Here's Icebreaker right over here. So that's Mango Joe's way down there and here's Icebreaker which is allegedly still slated to open in the summer potentially maybe late summer this year it seems like the track is pretty much done it's just a matter of cycling it with the vehicles on there well okay so the vehicles are definitely on the track they're they're right there in the loading station so that's interesting this could be pretty much ready to go for the most part but it'll probably still be several months away I feel like every other time that I've tried to film Icebreaker from the bridge it's just been really silhouetted because it's been really bright but because of the weather today you can actually see the coaster over there so that's really cool and then also here's the fountain show that's just kind of pleasantly playing in the background for everybody to see as they walk around they don't normally do that so i wonder if that's just a special situation for today being the grand reopening of SeaWorld. they haven't reopened any of the outdoor attractions or shows as far as i'm aware i'm pretty positive that the shamu stadium was loaded with people but they weren't doing the show so I guess it's probably a good thing to go ahead and head on out and maybe do kind of what I did with Universal, where I made one trip just to walk around and, and enjoy the atmosphere of being back in a theme park that I haven't been in in a while, and then come back and actually ride some rides. So Seafire Grill is closed as well, although there is a sign that says to visit them at Spice Mill, which that seemed to close when I was over there earlier, so I don't really know. Again, today's just kind of been an adventure in terms of figuring out what is open and what isn't. Open. The dolphin nursery has specific social distancing stickers for everybody to stand on to enjoy the dolphins. Right now they are over there enjoying being sprayed by a, a hose, it looks like, by one of the trainers. Okay, on my way to the park, I stopped by that candy shop over there and I got some cookie dough for Brennan to bring back to her because she wasn't able to come today. So she's gonna have this Reese's cookie dough for it later. Then I got myself some marshmallow fudge, which sounds awesome. But now I'm heading out of the park. Something else that's kind of interesting is they kind of made the store one way over here. So the entrance is kind of along the side back over there and the exit is going to be right over here by guest services and the front of the park. And this is kind of interesting because the park exit is now to the right over here instead of heading back through the entrance where you get into the park. So that's kind of new. All right, so SeaWorld is back open to the public. I didn't ride anything today, which Makes me a little bit sad because I definitely did come with intentions to ride something, but just due to the weather, obviously, and then just some of the wait times and closures of other rides, I wasn't able to really do that today. But again, it's the very first day of reopening here for SeaWorld, so I'm sure once they get all their team members back, whatever kinks that were present today, that will hopefully kind of be under control in the future, and I can come back and I can ride as much as I want I'm excited to bring this back home to Brenna because, man, she loves cookie dough. I don't know, is there anything else that I wanted to talk about? It's kind of cool to see this parking lot so incredibly full today. It was really, really busy, honestly. And just to be, just to rollerblade past it the other day and just see it uh, completely empty. And now to see it, it's kind of neat. The entry into the park today was a little bit hard. Uh, it took a while to get up to the toll booth for, for parking. And then it took a while to kind of get into the park once waiting in line. The temperature check did not take very long at all. I think it was just the reservation today. I think there was just some confusion with that potentially, or just some miscommunications. I don't really know, but it did take a while, probably due to that, to, to get from the toll plaza into the park. But I mean, other than that, SeaWorld did a pretty good job. Uh, you can't really demerit SeaWorld for the behavior of the guests, because a lot of people weren't 
entirely wearing their masks when they should have probably or social distancing how they should I guess but it's not really on on SeaWorld um, from what I could tell they prepared as much as they could for for today and hopefully it can just kind of improve from, from here and woo, I just realized that when you talk for like two minutes with a mask you start to kind of hyperventilate a little bit and exficiate all right thank you for hanging out with me today and just walking around SeaWorld and hopefully I get home before this massive uh, rain cloud kind of dumps down on me I'll see you soon have a good day and goodbye